hello hello and welcome to my channel i'm kat the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome thank you so much for joining me i hope that you can find a lot of valuable information in this video which is going to be a what's sold on ebay also some on facebook mercari poshmark so it is a monday which is typically our best shipping day and we have over 720 dollars going out on ebay today and then we have some stuff going out on the other platforms as well so there should be some good stuff for you guys to look for a lot of low buy cost stuff in here so if you're just getting started and wanting to find some items for a lower cost that you can flip for a profit this is a great video so let's get started Right, so I will start off by telling you guys I did not think this video was going to be the way it is. I only had $52 in sales on Friday and I only had I want to say like $56 on Saturday. $100 Friday and Saturday together. That was it. And then all of a sudden yesterday the floodgates opened. That's a Facebook marketplace order. The floodgates opened and we had almost $600 in sales yesterday on Sunday. So let me show you what started. I'm gonna look and see what sold on Facebook. Oh, it was memories, <laughs> nothing sold. It's the same sound for my memories as what sold. So some great stuff going out today and yeah. So I will start off with actually a Facebook marketplace sale. This is a gym short angel. If you do not know this guy, you need to learn him. Here is what the bottom of these look like. And some of the gym short pieces sell for really good money. And she sold for $26 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. The buyer actually paid me on PayPal for her because they wanted her shipped to their sister at an address that was not the one on Facebook. So I actually didn't even have Facebook fees on that one and I made close to a $20 profit. I picked her up for $6 while we were yard sailing up in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I know you guys hear me say all the time, like I don't like clothes, I don't like clothes. I don't know if I should really say I don't like clothes because some of them I've kind of learned what sells well. So I pick them up quite frequently. And the reason for that is A, I see them in auction lots a lot where I get a whole tote for really cheap and I'm only, you know, between 50 cents and $2 in on some better brands. And I have two or three thrift stores near me that sell clothes for a dollar. So first up is from an auction lot. This is a Columbia t-shirt. This is not vintage. So there is the front, there's the back. And this one is new with tags. I got it in an auction lot and I paid $2. It sold for $12 plus shipping. So it'll be about an $8 profit. The nice thing about clothes is like t-shirts I flat lay. I do front back and a close up of the pattern if it needs it. And they ship in poly bags. So they're very easy to do. It's something really cheap that you can find quite frequently if you are new and just starting out next from the same auction lot pretty cool reflective hat this is gasolina and i paid less than a dollar for this hat the same auction as i got the columbia shirt this one sold for 15 plus shipping and i actually have one more left so if you need a cool hat these are pretty cool reflective hats next is going to be another shirt so this is another columbia shirt so columbia the shirts and shorts have been selling very well for me this one has like a fly fishing almost like the scientific periodic table i paid two dollars for this again in that auction lot and it sold for 14 plus shipping making this one over a ten dollar profit and all of the columbia shirts and that gasolina hat haven't even been listed a month so these are selling pretty fast next is a decorative plate this is spirit of the night it's from western heritage museum i do have the certificate of authenticity with it 
and the buyer wrote me and asked me if it was a full size plate. I replied that it was. They sent me an offer of $11. I'm less than 50 cents into that. So I'm going to make about an $8 profit. And plates are, to me, pretty easy to ship. I typically will use a number seven box unless they're large dinner plates. So then I have some 14 by 14 boxes. And yeah, just bubble wrap them up, put some paper under on the sides and on top, and you're done. There are a lot of clothes going out today, guys. A lot of clothes, but it all adds up. Um, these are some five inch shorts. These are White House Black Market, which is a great brand. So these polka dot shorts, I paid 50 cents. They sold for $20 plus shipping, and I will make an $18 profit. Again, front, back, and tag is all I photograph on these, and then they're so easy to just put in a poly bag. So you do need to check the sell through rate because a lot of clothes take forever to sell. But I found like White House Black Market and Talbots for women's is pretty common around here. That sells pretty fast. The Columbia for men's, the Cool brand has been selling really well. So I wouldn't say stay away from clothes. If you can search clothes and find the right comps and the sell through rate that you want, pick them up. They sell within a month or two and they're making a pretty good profit. Up next is another bet. All of these are profit. This one sold for four bucks, but I have over 200. So that is almost like the DVDs where I'm saying, you know, I'm making four bucks for each. Somebody might buy like 10 of them at the same time and it'll be a $40 profit. Other ones are just gonna buy one like this, but all of it is profit because of the first set of vent covers I sold put me in the profit. Next, and I have these right in front of the camera try and hold up a handful these are hotel soaps so these are bath and body works coconut lime and i sold nine of them for nine dollars and 79 cents plus shipping hotel soaps and lotions will sell and they will sell for about a dollar each a lot of people i feel like use them for stocking stuffers they also will send them if they have family that is serving in the armed forces overseas so there are a lot of different uses for the hotel soaps so if you run into somebody that collected them at like a yard sale, I got mine on auction and I got boxes and boxes and they're actually almost all sold out now. So this is all profit, about $9. And I will just put those into a poly bag and then put them into a box. Up next, and this is going out to a viewer. This is going out to Miss Bobby. So Miss Bobby, thank you so much. She actually bought a shirt I'm gonna show you in here in just a couple of minutes. And I asked her if she saw the jacket because when I bought them, I bought them together. And it's just so cool for 4th of July. So I hope it gets there to her in time. It should since it's going out today. Today is the 28th, 28th. So check out this jacket. And it's got the stars and stripes on the back. And then look, or the stripes on the back and then the stars. So this brand is Tian Company. Wasn't a really well-known brand, but the thing is 4th of July is coming and Miss Bobby, bought the shirt I told her I would take 20 for the jacket I had it at I think 26 or 27 and she went ahead and purchased that so it was Bobby again I really appreciate it and we'll see her shirt here in a minute more clothes <laughs> here and this one's really cool if you guys see there's like the surfboard cars there um, and I did put classic woody because that's what the car type is paid a dollar for this and it sold for $15 plus shipping in about a month and a half it is a size extra large and it's going to be about a $13 profit on that. And then we have Miss Bobby's shirt. So Miss Bobby, thank you again. This one is Teddy, another perfect for 4th of July, super cute striped shirt. I will match that jacket. Amazing. So I appreciate it. I also want to take a minute to say thank you guys so much who have sent stuff for Dalton for his birthday. He's actually back there in his chair at his desk. I don't know if you can see him, but his birthday's coming up in a month. So I have not shown these on camera because Dalton is in here with me most of the time when I'm making these videos. I haven't even opened the boxes because my fear is if I open them, he'll see them. And I wanna say thank you. I know I've gotten multiple packages. I believe mostly with Peppa Pig because he loves Peppa Pig. And I've gotten some messages asking me it is really hot, I know. We forgot to turn the air on last night. The shed's pretty hot in here. Um, so 
I've gotten messages asking me what else Dalton would like. His birthday is July 23rd, so he loves coloring and drawing and he loves anything to do with music. He is obsessed with music and lately he's obsessed with zebras. So if you would like to send him something, there's some ideas and of course Peppa Pig. He cannot get enough of Peppa Pig. That is what is on my TV right next to me and is on my TV every hour he is awake. He is in love with Peppa Pig. So to all of you who have sent it, I'm sorry I don't have your names because the boxes I put up top in the loft where he cannot get to them and I have not opened them yet. So I really, really do appreciate it. These are some shirts. These were my last auction haul video. I only paid like $6 for a lot of quite a few and these v-neck t-shirts which they are Stafford brand. They are vintage and size medium. These sold for $10 plus shipping so we'll make about $8 profit on those. Up next and I'm only going to show you two of these but there are eight. These are really pretty Indiana cubist amber glasses they are 10 ounce so somebody sent me an offer of ten dollars for four and she said that shipping was so expensive because they are a pound each so a set of four is over four pounds and shipping is going to get quite pricey so i had two sets of four and i told her i would accept ten dollars per set of four if she took both sets and paid shipping and she took it. So these sold for $21 plus 23 shipping and it's over a $40 order. So some really cool glasses there with the cube design. Not bad. Up next is this vintage Alpine pen. It is Bagdestein Stein, I don't know. But this pen sold for $14.69 plus shipping. I'm less than 50 cents in. I don't know what he's doing back there on the but I will keep an eye on him and then I'm mailing these out to my good friend Dagny flying pig thrifts saw these I thought of her and had to get them so Dagny it has taken me two weeks to uncover them in my car I now have uncovered them and they are going out to you hopefully you'll have them before this video is out up next these are Talbots which as I said this sells very well this is David Brooks they're just like some little khaki sports and it um these are very popular with golfing ladies these sold for $9.79 plus shipping i'm only 50 cents in and they'll be an eight dollar profit up next and if you follow me on instagram you've already seen those if you don't follow me on instagram definitely check me out there the name is the nurse slipper there as well this is some vintage holly hobby fabric this I found at the thrift store where I was at in my last video. I got four pieces and I actually think they were making curtains with these. So there were four pieces. I paid $5 for the bag of four pieces, put them on auction at $49.99 cause some Holly Hobby fabric, like you need to know this guys, remember Holly Hobby, some Holly Hobby fabric sells for hundreds of dollars for one yard. Mine only sold for 56, but I only paid five. This over $45 profit. Next is this Vera Bradley purse. I did get this while we were garage selling up in Ohio. I paid a dollar and this one sold for 18 plus shipping. So I have said this, I will say it again with Vera Bradley, if it is in good condition, which you can see this one is almost like new and it is like a dollar or two, I'm gonna pick it up no matter what the pattern uh that one is going to yield me over a 15 dollars profit in less than two weeks so if you find it cheap and good condition Vera bradley will sell you have to price it right guys check the comps don't overprice don't try and get more than the market is going to let you but like a 15 dollars profit in two weeks is perfectly okay with me up next and this is the second ashtray by deruda italy i have found there's your mark this one's pretty cool it says mama laura Ristorante, Ristorante. There is the print. I paid 89 cents for this at my local thrift store and it sold for $25 overnight, guys, in less than eight hours. So remember Deruta Italy. Typically is pretty bright colors. This one's actually kind of muted compared to the other one that I found, but they sell very, very well. Up next, and I haven't sold one of these in a while. I think the more popular ones sold pretty fast. This is a Ranshaw scarf or handkerchief. It is a Delaware. 
I paid less than a dollar for this scarf and it sold for $34, guys. It's a little 13 inch scarf. $34 plus shipping. The buyer is almost $40 all in and we'll make over a $30 profit on that. I actually want to say thank you to a couple of people who have bought me coffee since the last time I thank you guys. Lisa got me a coffee and said thanks so much for the video. And also Mincy got me a coffee. So Mincy and Lisa, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys do not know, buy me a coffee is a great way to tip your content creators without them getting a ton of fees taken out if you appreciate their content. Up next is a journal. So this is what the journals look like. They come with this cool tool and they come with pens. There is a link down below if you would like to purchase a journal from me. Caroline bought this and Caroline is one of my channel members and I told her because she had zero feedback and she is a brand new seller just starting to sell that she should buy some stuff she needed anyways. Like I would buy tape, I would buy poly mailers, anything to build that eBay feedback up. She bought a journal from me. Caroline, I did not mean for you to purchase from me, but I really do appreciate it. So thank you. Glad to see that you're building your feedback up and I hope your sales start soon. Up next are two little ponies. I paid 99 cents each for these. And these two together sold for $29.39. Plus shipping, the buyer is almost $45 all in and I will make over a $25 profit. I love getting plush for 99 cents, guys. Next, this is a super cool, this is geranium glass. So this will glow, I'm trying to catch the green of it there. and. This divided plate, I got seven of them and this one sold for $25 over on Poshmark. So breakable selling on Poshmark. I still have not turned off Poshmark. I'm so on the fence about whether I wanna keep it or not, but still getting sales. So as of right now, I'm leaving it on. Can you sit down please? No. No. Up next, this is a DVD and it's got four movies down there and it sold for $5.59 plus shipping. We'll make about $3.50 profit on that. And then these sanding discs, and I, I don't know if I should have listed them differently. That is your number and your, your it's type C 36 grit. I bought boxes of 100 and I separate them into two lots of 10 because I felt like those would sell faster. These sold for $10 plus shipping $9.92. I was barely anything and so that'll be about an $8 profit. Those I've had for a while they have been selling slow but I have sold a few lots of 10. Up next and I showed you guys this in an auction haul. This is Reef Fish. It is a three book set. It has reef creatures, reef fish, and reef coral. It's identification books for divers. I paid only a couple bucks. This one sold for $35 plus shipping, and I will make over $30 profit. So I've sold a lot of diving books. I just come across them quite often here in Florida. Keep an eye out for that. Um, like scuba diving, patty stuff sells very, very well. Next is a Porsche filter. So I'm super happy because I have hundreds of them. This one's sold for eight free shipping. We'll make about $4. Again, that's one of my quantity buys that this little few dollars adds up when you get into multiple orders. Then we sold Hoosiers for $5.59. That one sold really fast. This really cool Greek trinket box, like a green enamel side. This one I got for a dollar at the thrift store. I just thought it looked really cool. Sold for $12 plus shipping. So we'll make a $9 profit on that. Men's, these are Boca Classics. They are size extra, extra large, brand new. I paid $2 in the same auction lot as the Columbia stuff. As you can see their tags. And these sold for $13.45 plus shipping and we'll make close to a $10 profit on those. Another shirt, there is a lot of clothes going out, which I am very happy for shipping wise. This Talbot's tea, I paid less than 50 cents. It sold for $8 plus shipping and will make about $7 profit. And this Izod hat, this one I paid $2 for at the thrift store and it sold for $20 plus shipping over on Mercari and will make about a $16 profit. These plates with the cool basket and flowers there. These are Cumberland Mayblossom. I got them at the thrift and they sold for 
$20 plus shipping over on Facebook. And last, and I was really, really surprised at this buy guy. So these bowls are melamine. They have like the lobster, they have the life. Um, what are those things called? Lifesaver. I want to say lifesaver, but that's a candy. Um, like the rescue little thing. I, I can't think of it. Um, some crabs and these were not really any name brand. There were seven of them. I got them in a lot. I only paid a couple of dollars and these actually sold for $30 over on Mercari in less than a week. So not too bad for Monday. It is down a little bit. We are up though. We are up almost 50% from the last 30 days. So I am thrilled with that. Even though we had those two very slow days, Sunday made up for it and that's how it happens you know some days you'll get very few sales and then other days you're gonna have a ton so i appreciate you guys watching i will see you on the next one bye guys